Where have you been? I need you to close the door. Oh, uh, well, I thought a little fresh air would be nice. Hmm, it isn't. Well, as the person who has to share a house with the person who won't take a bath, I need the fresh air. I don't care. Close it. Orson, I know that you are angry at the world right now. What happened to you is unimaginable. And I am going to do whatever I can to help you through this. And all I ask in return is that you treat me with a little bit of courtesy, and that includes using the word please. Why the sudden interest in etiquette, Bree? I mean, I don't recall you saying please before you cheated on me. This conversation is over. The door stays open. I want it closed. No, you stink. And you're a whore. Here's the difference. I can get clean. Hmm. Yes, you can. What are you doing? What's going on? I'm not even dressed. What is that? What is that? What's going on? Three, stop. You wouldn't. Stop it. Three, stop it. Stop. Three. There was a word you could use to get me to stop, like, please. I'm calling Joyce. Say please. Go to hell. Why can't you just say it? It's easy. Please. 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 Please, 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 That's the life I'm facing now. Having to ask people for help, for everything. Do you know how hard that is? Every morning, I wake up at 5. You get up at 6.30 for an hour and a half. I lie there, staring at the bedroom door, fantasizing about how lovely it would be, how excruciatingly lovely it would be to get up and make myself a cup of tea one last time. No, please. Just hot water and tea. Orson, I'm so sorry. Forgive me.